In this lesson, we're going to register key combinations that are going to allow us fold and unfold certain code regions in files. And the first keyboard shortcut will be used to fold certain regions. I'm using command plus opening square bracket. The command name will be editor.fold. And as a condition, we have to specify that we need this keyboard shortcut to take effect only when focus is currently located on the file itself. So if I'm gonna switch over to some file, and let's say in here I would like to fold this function, I just have to press command opening square bracket, and as we can see this function was folded. And the same goes with other regions that can be folded. For example, this set of imports, we just have to position cursor over this block and press command open in square bracket. As we can see, it worked and the region was folded. So now let's register another keyboard shortcut to unfold certain regions. I'm using similar keyboard shortcut, but in this case it will be command and closing square bracket. And the common name in this case will be unfold. The when condition will remain the same. Let's switch back to functions.js and try to unfold this import statement. I'm pressing command closing square bracket and the region was unfolded. And of course the same thing is applied to other regions that can be unfolded, for example this function. There is also a way to apply this folding technique globally in a whole file to fold or unfold all regions at the same time. Let's register keyboard shortcut that is going to allow us fold or unfold regions globally. I'm using alt plus command plus opening square bracket. The command name is fold all and the condition will remain the same. So now if I'm going to switch over to the file and press alt command opening square bracket, as we can see all regions in this file were folded. And this way we can clearly see all the elements that are currently defined within this file. Let's continue and register the next keyboard shortcut. It will be bound to the opposite action, which is global unfolding. I'm using almost the same keyboard shortcut for this command. The command name will be unfold all. And instead of opening square bracket, we're using closing square bracket in here. The condition will be the same. So let's try it out and unfold all the regions in this file at the same time. I'm pressing Alt, Command, closing square bracket, and as we can see, all regions were unfolded. And in addition to these commands for folding and unfolding, there is also a way to apply folding to specific regions, but recursively. Let's consider this scenario. For example, I would like to fold all regions that are located inside this function. And also I would like that the function itself will be folded. For this we're going to bind another keyboard shortcut, which will be Ctrl Alt Command Opening Square Bracket, and the command name will be fold recursively. So now if I'm going to position the cursor inside of this function and press Ctrl Alt Command and Opening Square Bracket, as we can see the whole function was folded, but if we'll try to unfold this function by pressing command and closing square bracket, we can see that those internal regions are still folded. Because previously we have applied recursive folding. And the last command we're going to register in this lesson will be used to unfold all regions recursively. So I'm using Ctrl Alt Command closing square bracket and this shortcut we are binding to unfold recursively command. So this is the opposite command to previous keyboard shortcut. I'm going to apply recursive folding to this function by pressing Ctrl Alt Command and opening square bracket. Everything was folded recursively and to unfold it recursively we're pressing Ctrl Alt Command and closing square bracket. And now not only the function itself was unfolded, but also all regions that are located inside, because we have applied recursive unfolding. 
Let's continue registering keyboard shortcut in the next lesson and the link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.